Hey guys, here's another game with uh, the uh, Dark Armory deck. Um, this list is the one I'm testing with currently. Uh, I took out the Sporefolk package and added in for Slumbering Stone just because they're cheap. Um, they turn into a tutor body when I harsh rule and they can block as early as turn one or two as soon as I cast it basically. So um, let's take it out for a spin. Uh, this hand is got really good power base. Got a pretty good turn three play and a turn one play. This is not useful, but I think this is all right. We can play with this. If it's a, if I'm playing against a slow deck, this will buy quite a bit of time. Against a fast deck, I do need to draw into something better. But this will at least deal with a couple of early game threats. So I think. I think. What I want to see the most is quarry, maybe, or raise to the challenge. I'll play this first in case we want to torch something. Okay, playing against probably traditional army or mechanical plates. Um, drawing a sigil is not good. Okay, so he's playing traditional armory, probably. Mm, that's essentially another power source. Not what I need at the moment. So the question is, do I run this out or do I not? Um, and I think I do. I do have a smuggler's stash to bring it back if I have to. And this starts to apply some pressure. And a couple of Warcry triggers is great too. That's unfortunate. Um, so I think... I could either kill it with favor. Actually, I think I'll do that. I'm not going to run the Bailiff out there. And this will kill the next Sword of carry as well, if he has another one. Hmm, no... Shadow Sigil yet. I wonder if this is a straight green uh, red list. I've seen a couple of those recently. Okay, nothing's really happening. I think when nothing is happening, it's, it's got to be favorable to me when I have cards like that. So I think the chance of him having a torch is pretty high. So if I run this out there, it's just going to get torched. Um, so let's run this out there first and that also leaves me with mana up to cast torch in case I need to and if this gets torched it's that's fine with me okay so very good now we can do this and then on next turn we can hit him back Uh, I think the torch was a mistake. I mistakenly thought that I would be able to kill it with the torch and then really look. Uh, so that was a pretty big mistake. Um, essentially, that was just a complete waste of my torch because I would have killed it now anyway. I just got three extra damage out of it. Mm. Let's see what I draw. Yeah, that torch was a pretty giant misplay. Mm. So I can dig for a land, or I can just simply return some stuff. But I think I can get more value if I play the Sword of Sky King first. So I only have one weapon in my graveyard at the moment. So let's do this. Um, do I want the land for the guaranteed sword next turn, or do I want to put a 3-4 creature out there? I think I'll just get the land. That also lets me get my third red, in case I draw a carrier. So on the next turn, I can play a sword, smash this. He's going to have a tough time dealing with the sword, I think. Um, he's not played any artisans yet, so his equipments aren't that amazing. So now we're in good shape. Even if he can deal with the sword, I can bring back 
two bailiffs and two weapons, and that's gonna drag this game on to quite late. Okay, he's, he does kill the sword. Um, let's do it now. Okay. Play this bailiff, because then I can block it. It's too bad that I have to kill this. I don't really want to kill it, which will give him the opportunity to bring it back. So for my next turn, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to cast the Sword of the Sky King, smash this, and then attack him for three, and then follow that up next turn with a th Throne Worm with a Torch backup. And put me in a really good shape. Let's do that. Uh, so it's going to be really hard for him to kill the bailiff. Um, he needs two torches, and vanquish doesn't work. So whatever equipment he has, he's going to have to kill this first. Um, if he draws the carrier, uh, I can kill it next turn with the, the flail. So it's not a huge, huge deal. Mm, do I want to... So I don't even need to, I can just do this and kill her and save this to go to the face. Uh, so that's a good, uh, that's a better plan. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that can wait. The only problem with this play is he can harsh rule me, but that's, that's fine. I only lose two units that way. Actually, he's dead. Huh. Alright. 